Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to another episode right here on V City. Welcome to another episode right here on V City. Today, we're going to be talking about the University of the Fraser Valley, which is also known as UFV. It was formerly a university college. It was formerly known as University College of the Fraser Valley, and also known as Fraser Valley College. But now people just call it UFV. It's a Canadian public university with campuses in Abbotsford, Chilliwack, Mission, and Hope, which are all located in British Columbia, which is also known as BC. And um, what else is there to know? It was founded in 1974, and it was known as Fraser Valley College. It became a university college in 1988, and it had the degree granting status. So that means it became a university college. So. It grew rapidly, so it became it's it's becoming one of color, one of Canada's largest uh, university colleges, right? And there's so many campuses. Well, not that many, but there's a good number of them, right? Abbotsford is the main campus, and it's located in Abbotsford. Uh, it, it's the it's U of V's first permanent U of V's first permanent campus, and it was opened in 1963, 1983 rather. Uh, what else is there? There's another campus in Mission, and that was opened in 1975. Uh, that campus typically offers more of continu continuing education and adult basic education and, and things like that. Uh, so there's another campus which is located in India. It's like a satellite campus, and pretty much it's, it's for students who are in India, right? And they can finish one year of university there and decide to transfer to another college in Canada or they can decide to finish all four years right there in India. Uh, there was also a residence which is located in Abbotsford and it's known as the Baker House Residence. The residence houses about 102 suites and 204 bedrooms. Every suite contains a microwave and a mini fridge, which is really good, right? <laughs> anyway, so there's meal plans that you can get there, that way you don't have to make your own meals and that's about $1,500 to $2,000, which is not bad. So, there's something else you need to know. Uh, the university is, offers about 15 bachelor degrees and two master's degrees and about 100 different certificates, postgraduate degrees, diplomas, etc., etc. And these, it's, it's pretty good, right? There's a lot you can go through. There's a lot you can learn in this university. The Abbotsford campus features the school's most, the school's only at residence and there's a fitness center, a main library, the student union building, all these different things are there in Abbotsford. The Chilliwack campus focuses on health sciences, agriculture, trade and technology. This campus features the, the, the Aboriginal people, it's a gathering place and uh, there's another thing it features, uh, special program, they pretty much do special programs and events there as well. So. There's a thriving international department in UFV, so you can get your co-op there, you can uh, have lots of educational options there as well. So, one thing for sure, one thing you can know is that there's a lot to gain at UFV. But also, one thing I gotta tell you is that although there's a lot of opportunities for you to grow as a student there, it's a boring place. It, it's, that's just the truth, that's, that's being real, it's boring. And there's not a lot to do. So if you're going to focus on your books, study, you know, put your head down and come out with the best grades, trust me, you can go there. You don't want distractions and stuff like that. But if you want to do much more than education, much more than school, then I advise that you, you know, set your eyes in a place like the University of Toronto or somewhere in Ontario, even Calgary, you know, but not, not, not UFV. But U of V is a small place. Um, U of V's campus is not that big. It's it's a nice place and it's beautiful. Like it's scenic. It's in British Columbia. It's it's gorgeous, right? But remember that if you're going there, make sure you go there and focus on your books because that's pretty much all you got. Anyway, I do hope you you've liked this episode. Concerning scholarships, there's about 15 different scholarships entrance scholarships for this university which are all about ten thousand dollars and i'm going to put some information in the description below that way you can access this i hope this episode is able to give you a good you know a good understanding of this university and and help you to know whether you this is for you or this is not for you once again thank you for watching don't forget to like and subscribe because you know 
all of that helps us grow. If you have questions, don't forget to put them in the comment section below and we will see you next time.